2019 was the year we knocked it right out of the Bet you if you tried you couldn't put it out your mind YouTube Rewind. Now we've had many different interpretations of YouTube Rewind, but the 2020 musical edition that was shortly lived is truly a global treasure. I mean, I think I'd rather find this Rewind than the Lost City of Atlantis. What makes it so different, however, is that Michelle Kerr turned it into a musical. And being a guy who's taken GCSE drama, I believe that I'm more than qualified to review it. So I did actually have a look at the analytics earlier, and it does say that 92.1% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So if you are new here, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. It is completely free, and you can always unsubscribe. So we start off with a Mr. B. She clearly ordered off Fiverr, closing a laptop, which was playing her last YouTube rewind, which was also in a musical concept, believe it or not. I'm actually going to jump on to this part, Yes, this is true. This is a genuine video. She did do YouTube Rewind 2019, the musical, and it's so much better than this one, and I have no clue how it went wrong from here. Now, if this was a genuine YouTube Rewind, however, it would be on about 10 million dislikes and about 100 million views. I mean, the reason why I make it so bad is because all the YouTube Rewinds now are just awful. I mean, have a look at the 2018 Rewind, for example. Yeah! 2019 was the year we knocked it right out of the park me and the boys doing our part blew past our tree benchmark and moving forward it's my mission to spread cheer right so the dancing is pretty good to be fair and the song is it's pretty catchy with the dancers meant to be carl chris and chandler it's actually pretty solid now if you couldn't get any cringier mark rober appears and he's actually a time traveler in this yeah i know really odd and he comes to warn mr beast about 2020 and how covid is really bad but if you look at this part mr beast has a little cool thumbnail bit which to be fair actually made me giggle to cut this short mr beast then goes on to say what he's going to do in 2020 and how he's going to get through he goes from the creator games private island and does miss a few good parts in there. but they did something disgraceful they have misled all of us and lied to our faces they said that you'll lose a private island if you don't follow pewdiepie when it was clearly subscribing follow pewdiepie if you want a private island but yes there was a guy on mr beast's channel who lost a private island when he wasn't subscribed, not followed, and this is why it is so shameful. When you finish it, you begin to realise that the Mr. Beast part was actually the best part of this entire musical. If I had to rate the Mr. Beast part, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, plus 1 because it's Mr. Beast and he's like a really cool guy. Aww. This is the part where you kind of see like it kind of goes wrong. So obviously defining the cringe and all of that jazz, the Mr. Beast part is probably the best part of this whole musical. And when it comes to Unis Arnis, that's where it starts to come bad. Now, in my opinion, this Unis Arnis part is really cringe because it opens up with Michelle Kerr and she's dressed up as the two Unis Arnis colours and obviously 2020 was the year Unis Arnis deleted their channel and it's just a lot to take in at the start. Now, I'm going to play 15 seconds. All the drama, all the trauma, it's time to Culture, stream culture, ease your mind with the switch. New Horizons started island, did you hear I'm on Twitch? Now that's what I mean by it's a lot to take in and I can't even like begin to put in words. The first of all, they took the greatest showman song and just changed a couple notes in it. However, they did actually have a funny part. Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson and Tati Westbrook came in and started arguing with each other. But my question was, why is there so many like different parts of the year in one? This is what I mean. It's like really cringe because one minute they're talking about Twitch and now they're talking about drama. Like what? I mean, they take one drama that Jake Paul's house gets raided by the FBI and then they also take Bryce Hall's parties that was illegal. Like this entire segment is irrelevant. I don't understand why they put this part in. Like... Maybe if they made it more clear that it was about lockdown, but 
you know, it opens up at the start, you think it's Unis Arnis, and then it switches to meme oh, culture, yeah. down to drama, into lockdown, into investments. Like, it's just really irrelevant. So I'm going to give this segment a 3 out of 10. 3 because of The Greatest Showman. Now, YouTube Rewind isn't always happy. And they head straight into the YouTuber apology era, which is understandable, you know, it covers everything that happened in the year. However, I'm not going to put a lot into it because I want to keep this video positive. But ladies and gentlemen, we actually have the best parts about to come up. But first, we got the Minecraft era. Life out there may be bleak beyond your wildest nightmare. There's a space, a special place. You can join me on a side way. So ultimately, in this part, we have Pokimane singing about Twitch, and it just gets really cringe from here. If you thought the last three segments were cringe, oh, you're not ready for this. Like, if you've never seen this next part I'm about to show you, I will be surprised. If you haven't seen this at least one, oh, mate, just have a look. So you've just watched 18 seconds of a group of Among Us people walking on stage, singing about sus and imposters, and then pointing at what's meant to be a group of streamers. Yeah, this is the rewind. It could not get cringier than this. What did you see when the body was found? Toast acting sus with no one around. I was in comms, I was with AOC. Oh, don't you dare marinate me. I don't like the sound of that. Streaming, streaming, time to reject. Unanimous vote, Dr. Disrespect. So that is the first half of the Among Us musical. Obviously now we've got the Dr. Disrespect solo. It's very cringy. Uh... Among Us was a big part of the ending of 2020, but there was just no need to include it in this. Let's just have a look at the Dr. Disrespect part. I've been banished without reason. There's no chance I'll concede. I don't need you. I'll be back despite you. With violence, momentum, and speed. Champions, I have flown off the mountain. And you know I was standing at the tippity top. Yes, I climbed so high, I must have fallen into the sky. This two time will never stop No matter So there's only one problem with this scene. He was the one that got banned in 2020, and however, they decided to include him. I don't know, maybe to pay homage. But that does bring us to the end of the Among Us saga. So I'm going to rate it 3 out of 10. However, the singing is really good. It's just it's cringe that it's about Among Us. So let's head straight to the next part. Doom scrolling, we can never get a break. My Twitter feed is blowing up. Influencer doubles down on a hot take He says he's sorry, she says she's growing <laughs> Like we can't see it in their eyes Accountability for their However, they do bring in the great parts about 2020 You know, when it comes to the, all the things that were changed And how 2020 really made an impact on society So I'm gonna actually give this one a 10 out of 10 You know, it's, it's good, it's good uh, The song's good I believe it's meant to be uh, taken out of Hamilton And that's gonna be a... 
10 out of 10 in my opinion. Great. So that's going to bring us to the conclusion. If you are new to the channel, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. I've had a many, many, many outrages whilst I was recording this. And it would be really nice if you can pay by subscribing. Uh, not pay, but you know. And I believe this video is copyrighted, so I'm probably going to lose money from this. But you know, you can be nice. You can subscribe. Anyway, I hope you have a good day. Peace.